Yeah, so the, the band name originally came from my uh, teenage memories. Uh, I used to hang around with the kids, and I think everybody had that phase where they thought that they were so, you know, philosophically profound. Just they viewed the world through deep lenses and stuff, and just used to joke about having masks and people wearing masks and having to put on a mask to, to you know, go by their day by day. That joke actually stuck with me and uh, all the jobs that I had and everything that I lived through, you do wear masks once in a while. So that's where the name originally came from. Cowl is a word that's used to describe masks. I wanted a short name, something catchy, something that, you know, once I say it, people are like, what? Like, oh, what's the band's name? Like, Cowl. I'm like, huh? It's like, yeah, Cowl, C-O-W-L. Easy for me to say, and if they ask for a meaning, you know, depending on my mood, I can say whatever, so. Um, but yeah, that's where it came from. You know, one day, people realized that uh, behind every mask, there's a face. Behind every face, there are people. So, uh, I don't know. Well, in my head, I would like people to listen to it and just immediately think, oh, we have a lot of uh, nostalgia towards the way that rock and roll used to be recorded. At least for myself, if I get an album that I listen to and I can hear snips and bits of musicians making mistakes, it just makes me feel like I'm in, in the session with them. Yeah, in my head, I think that that's what I like people to, to think it means, just a lot of rock and roll stuff, just guitars and you know drums, bass, all that, good rock. Definitely don't think I wrote the best song that I could yet. It's in me, that's for sure. And I'm glad because it just it keeps me chasing that feeling, you know. Hopefully it comes in a time that it just makes sense. Musically, from the first album to this album, I'm very excited and very proud of, of the way that it's coming out. I'm learning and I'm growing as an artist and I'm happy with the trajectory that I'm going. Yeah, there's definitely a song called Peace of Mind. That song, just the lyrics are, I think it's at least beautiful. Very easy to understand from top to bottom, and the guitar on it was uh, that was a gift. You know, like a song that the more you listen to it, you hear it once, like oh, it's a good song, whatever. But then you just keep one listening to it, and every time you listen to it, you know, like twenty listens later, you're just like, oh, there's something new. There's just something new every time. So that song specifically was a song that I sat down and I then just say stuff and you know, kind of put together, and I actually wrote down, you know, word by word and really thought about what I was saying, what I was feeling at the time. At the time I was uh, burned out, stressed, so I went to vacation. Coming back and, you know, that break after, you know, a long period of time of just hustling, finally was able to sit down and just take a step back and, and look and just see and, and feel everything that I like and love, including music. So that lyric itself is, uh, Lyrically, I think that was one of my best um, versions that, that came off of, of experience. So, yeah, peace of mind. Watch out for that one. Yeah, I mean, for music-wise, I would say just have an arena of people singing the songs along with them. Uh, open up a show for Kings of Leon. Play in London 02 as well. Those are the three main goals that I have, Kyle has, the band has. It's weird saying the band when it's just myself. Now hopefully down the line, get more people. Yeah, so the first album is out now. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, iTunes, wherever uh, people stream their stuff. Amazon Premium. Yeah, it was just a hell of a learning experience. It was difficult, I'm not gonna lie. You know, there was just being young and not knowing what to expect and just, but it was uh, it was genuine, it was it was true. It was a blast, it was such an incredible moment, surreal moment. We're just gonna describe it. Whatever was going on, I just, I, I want that for the rest of my life. Yeah, so the first album was recorded in LA uh, with the Mark Rains, it was in the Station House Studio, shout out Mark. You know, every time that I stepped in that studio, it was just uh, emotions, so. Um, it's out now, it's on Spotify, it was released, uh, I think 2019, late 2019. It's just really fast, just rock and roll stuff. Yeah, go stream, go, go listen. Yeah, I think what makes us unique, that I write, that I like putting it out there, is just a lot of uh, Brazilian music. 
MPB, just Música Popular Brasileira. We had a lot of really great composers out there. There's just something about the Brazilian language that's much easier to chain together words that are very meaningful and, and, and beautiful and deep at the same time as being easy on, on the melody. So that's something that I always love to enjoy to listen to and I actually started listening to rock and roll when I was older, about 13, 14. Prior to that, it was basically just Brazilian music. So very intrigued on how I, I, like, I just wanted to hear something that was something you know similar along those lines, just like that nice blues rock with deep lyrics and stuff. So I think that, that makes it unique for sure. I feel like I want it to be something that if somebody passes along my music to somebody else and like, oh, you know, what do they play? It's like, hmm, that's a good question. I just say we play alternative rock. I play alternative rock, but yeah, I want, I want it to be out of the box. I want it to be something that, as long as I say it's good, you know. Yeah, so the next is just to finish this album. I have seven tracks recorded. I got about six more to go, so I'm very excited being halfway off the finish line. Yeah, just taking it day by day and trying to keep things moving. Every once in a while, I'll be posting some new songs as well, just acoustic songs that I have that I wrote in the past that I'm writing right now as I'm also traveling to Nashville to keep recording, so keep an eye out for that. Catch us on Spotify right now for the first album and go to our YouTube page. There are a couple of uh, new songs that are going to be on the album, but that we play live in a couple of spots in Nashville, so that was fun. And uh, yeah, just keep your ears, eyes open, you know. Catch you guys there.